that Cardi B's husband, Offset, was not going to sit, you know, quietly while his wife came home sporting a brand new knot above her eye. Mm. He took to Instagram yesterday and he posted, and I quote, Every ninja around you going to feel this smoke. Innocent and all, LOL. See, I'm really on that ish you talking. Mm. Don't play around. When I see ninjas, mm. I'm not going to play. Now, that's what he posted on his Instagram, but he uh, he deleted the post. However, you know, we live in an age where people are screenshotting and people are reposting. So once you post something and someone read it, it is there and they are reposting and are screenshotting it. But, you know, this situation is looking like it's going to be real ugly, real ugly. But I want him to calm down because Cardi B, she has another appearance to make. She's been nominated for eight American Music Awards. She and Drake, they lead the nomination. So I want her to get a stuff together. Let that go. Let it go. Offset. Y'all have a child to take care of. Y'all don't need to be out there trying to settle no beefs. Just let it go and let God hell it. Hello. All right. But anyway, I got to talk about Tamar Braxton. You're the Tamar Braxton. She was on with Wendy Williams. And the show is going to air today. Now, she talked about her relationship with Vince and she also talked about her new boy, but what, baby. She, but what did she say about Vince? Hold on. She was just talking about Vince and, you know, that, you know, the divorce and everything and how, you know, he was abusive to her and all that stuff. Okay. But hold on. Everybody is talking about her. She says she got a new man, girl. A new African man, baby. But that ain't really what everybody's talking about. I want you to hear her talking about her African prince first. Let's take a listen. I met him at a friend's birthday party. Oh, hallelujah. He is, oh, thank you, God. He's so fine. I can't take it. Sometimes it's like a whole snack, a lunchable. He lives in L.A. He's okay. originally from Nigeria, but, um, he, he lived here for a while. He went to Harvard Business School. He's so smart. I'm so proud of him and amazing. He's so amazing. He's so kind. And he saved. And, you know. <laughs> how, long, how long have you actually been with him? Oh, about three months. But it feels like forever. But look, but three is the magic number. Yeah. Are you in love? Yes, very much so. <laughs> Baby. Now, everybody is wondering, oh. is she and Vince divorce? Uh, uh, Vince divorce, is it final? Because, you know, they haven't said anything about the divorce being final. But check this out. Everybody is talking about what they did not release the video on. Because, you know, they released the, uh, you got the script of what she talked about. Now, Wendy Williams, you know, everybody want to know about when they met with Eana Van Zandt. And they say that Eana Van Zandt and right. Tamar got into a huge fight. So, Wendy Williams was questioning her about that. How about Tamar was dodging the questions about the Iana Van Zandt thing, and she came out and she said that I was molested as a child by both sides of my family. And the audience and Wendy Williams all just gasped. It was like, <gasps> they were not expecting to hear that come out of her mouth. Mm. So they haven't released the audio for that. And the reason being, the show is going to air today. Mm -hmm. So make sure you check out your local listings mm. to check out Wendy Williams and Tamar Braxton as she talks about she was molested as a child on both sides of her family. All right. Mm. Oh, for this morning, wow. Tamar, you're going to have to log on to v-103.com. I'm your girl, Miss Sophia, with a little mm. girl talk. Remember when I talk, you talk, we talk, that's girl talk. On the People Station United V to the 103.